Hello everybody and welcome back to another Customizer Showcase. Today we're taking a look at yet another Printformers product. This is the long awaited and well overdue review of his take on the Marvel Comics Fortress Maximus. Here we have him on the turntable and he is just as glorious as Scorponok in my opinion. Now I love the fact that Marchin's done this on an off White. Now, of course, these are based on the Marvel comics back from the 80s and 90s, and he's kind of drawn inspiration from that using the kind of pastel-esque colours as well. They weren't pristine, bold colours. They were very kind of faded, and a white wasn't a white. It was almost a yellow-style comic. He's gone for the purple head and a standard. Now, we do have an additional head with this, which I'll cover when we look at the detail closer but uh, this is how I remember Fortress Maximus from the comics. There was the likes of him, we had Power Master Prime and we had Scorponok. They were all very much the same sort of size. Uh, Galvatron and Megatron were different people at that point I think. Uh, uh, God we're going back some years now, same sort of time as I was getting comics about visionaries and that as well but this really does take me for a little trip down memory lane. I think March has done an amazing job at capturing that comic book likeness. Up close and personal, Marchin's sculpts are always impeccable. Uh, the head is made up of several parts. So we've got the visor, the faceplate, the crown, and the helmet. Really am um, loving that piece though. Uh, obviously I've seen people start to print off the likes of his Scorponok and this guy and they're doing them at Titan scale. If I could afford to print that scale then my goodness me these would look insane. But I think uh, the bigger you go the more likely you are to be able to see like the lines etc in the print so you have to really kind of file it down. But uh, do you see what I mean about that off-white though? Really love that choice. Now of course I did mention we get the alternative head. Now we can get the blue and grey and that's just uh, ball mounted sockets that can just be placed on over the top and that's going to look more like what we remember from the likes of Headmasters. And we also get a replacement section to tab in on the shoulder. That's the kind of luminous green which again can just be tabbed in over there as well. We've got the uh, wings coming down the back. We've got his rifle which can be tabbed on his back. We have his leg panel piece at the moment. This is just tabbed in but I believe uh, Marcin mentioned in an email to me that there's an option now on the 3D printing files that this can now be screwed in and secured if so needed. Let's see how he looks alongside Scorponok. Oh, they look superb don't they? Really Really am loving that. I've actually seen somebody printing off the Scorponok and it's more or less human size. I mean, that's insane. That's more or less masterpiece. Uh, but of course, Martin didn't go for the masterpiece style aesthetic here. He's gone for that comic book accuracy. And once again, print formers, you have nailed it. I think you've done an exceptional job. I know he's working on doing some uh, constructor cons at the moment as well. Uh, it's a shared design. Uh, it's the same designer that done that amazing Magnus upgrade kit for the MP10. And I believe Martin's kind of working on downsizing that to legend scale so we get some fully kind of articulated G1 accurate uh, constructor cons for our collections. But for now, these two are looking insanely good together and not only do they look fantastic they actually transform up as well let's take a look at the articulation on Fort Max and then getting transformed up into his alt modes right now the head can look up that much and around left and right some hindrance going around to the side there it's going to have a bit of a blind spot if somebody comes and attacks from this side isn't it there uh, we do have motion out to the side on the arm but this can be extended by lifting up the shoulder pads they dip and they slide upwards to allow for a further kind of extra height on there and we can slide that back down we have rotation on the bicep 
like so. It's stiff, but it works. And we have not one, but two bends on that arm. Extend that right the way out so we can bring the arm all the way up. There is rotation on the wrist. Uh, the fists are a single unit. They're sculpted into that shape. How we do have rotation on the waist. No abdominal crunch in there. The hip skirts are all part and parcel, something I really like on the design. So we can move the legs forwards and back, albeit we can't bring them out as far as I'd like without sliding the leg down and then bringing it back up. And we can slide that back into the joint where we see fit. It comes out to the side. There's an upper thigh rotation and there is a bend on that knee. It's only a single jointed bend on the knee, but it's more than adequate, I feel. We can just slide the leg back up so they're both the same length. I mean, you can add that extra bit of height to him if you want him standing toe to toe with Scorpionock. I don't think it really draws away from the aesthetic. And then the feet are on ball mounts. You can get them all the way down. We can twist them left and right. So you can't really lift the toe any more than that, but I think that's more than adequate for what we need it. Uh, would like maybe a sword as an option to come with him because some people do like the Fort Max sporting the sword but again that's something that could probably be added at a later date. I mean I haven't actually checked over Martin's recent files so there may even be a sword option on there but of course this isn't based on the Headmasters cartoon. This is based on the Marvel Comics and as far as that goes, I think he has absolutely nailed it. Just something about them, isn't there? Whoa. Now, as amazing as his robot mode looks, he does still transform. So what we want to do, we want to rotate the arms 180 degrees. So they're facing upwards. Uh, the head is actually going to turn 90 degrees, like so. Come around to the back. And this section here is going to untab like this, this will come down, this piece rotates 180 degrees, and this entire upper torso piece is also going to rotate all the way around, so that the head and upper pieces are now facing the opposite direction, and then we're gonna rotate the lower torso 180 degrees, bring that back around to the front. The head is now gonna slide into that void. Now Fort Max actually has built-in calf fillers, I didn't slide those down, in his bot mode, that's the actual correct transformation for them, uh, but you do need to slide those up for the purpose of the transformation. And then using this ball mount, we slide the feet up and they are gonna slide in the inner sanctums of those legs. And then using a fingernail or a small device or some description, we can just pull those cannons up and then we get the option to attach the cannon to the side of the mount. And that's basically his alt mode. Uh, there are options where we can bring this piece upwards so they can uh, kind of be mounted more as kind of a base mode like Scorpionop would have. And then this observation tower can also be rotated. But this is kind of the most G1 inspired alt mode, I think. Yeah, but like I said, uh, I've got this for his bot mode, but the base mode kind of works, isn't it? It's no worse than Siege Shockwave's kind of laying down boat, is it? I mean, Fort Max was always kind of a large city former. Uh, I think it does what it needs to. Like I said, bot mode, sensational. Vehicle mode works and does exactly what it needs to. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Things like this absolutely amaze me, how people can just bosh out ideas like this as well. It's sensational. It really does blow my mind. Now, when are people gonna start making some Transformers animated 3D printing figures? I would absolutely adore to get some Constructicons done uh, to match the Transformers animated figures. If anybody knows of those being printed or designed, please let me know, because Hasbro dropped the bomb with those. They should have given us the complete wave, we didn't get a wasp done in his kind of original shape and form. We only got a waspinade and we didn't get the Constructicons. There was quite a few that we could have got, but we didn't.
like I said, very much enjoying this. I'll include links in the description below there where this can be printed, or you can download the files. And I'll also link you up to Scorponox video. I'll include a link at the end of the video. It'll be up here somewhere. And you can check that out as well. Huge thanks to Marcin over at Printformers for sending this out. And until next time, for myself and the rest of the Collectibles household, stay safe, keep collecting, uh, goodbye.